Hi, this is Majana. If you are enjoying Fun Astrology, would you please go on iTunes and give Thomas a five-star review and just jot down a couple of sentences in a review. That really helps get the word out. Thanks. Hey, it's Hump Day. Thomas Miller back with you on the Wednesday, July 24th Fun Astrology Podcast. Let's talk about four aspects that I'd like to pull out and talk about on today's chart. This is universal energy. I know you can read your horoscopes. That's how they take this chart and adapt it to a sign. I don't know. You know, my view on astrology and all this is a little bit different. I look at this as that the best benefit you can get or the way the, the way to think about the astrology chart and this craft, this this art and this science, if you will, and I say that because it involves mathematics and sacred geometry. So the scientists who say this is a pseudoscience, I say, I won't say it, um, because it's it's sacred geometry. If you can't bring, is there is it not scientific to study geometry? Okay, next topic. What's the other question? <laughs> or just look at somebody's life. I mean, your life displays the coincidences quite well. Okay, we have a couple of things. The moon today has moved up in Aries. It's at 27 degrees around noontime, and it is now square Mercury. So watch that little sharp tongue today, okay? So when the moon squares these other planets, we're talking about this. So what up that the, that the moon was just conjunct Chiron or that it is about to be conjunct Uranus and that it's square Mercury right now? What does that mean? When the moon goes around, which it does, of course, every month, it triggers these planets, especially the planets in your natal chart. So this is where you can look at everything that we're talking about. Wherever Aries is in your chart, especially the, the latter deacon of Aries, the th last third of the sign, that's where the moon, if you, if you have any planets in that area nearby, the moon could trigger their mm, whatever they might want to bring up. If they are a benefic planet in your chart, it could be a positive thing. If they are a malefic and you haven't dealt with that issue and you're not working on that issue, then it could be a trigger. So what we're talking about here is a trigger potentially around communication. So again, if you're working favorably, now although this is a tense aspect, so I would tend to say that it's a little bit of a tight rubber band, that's where just count to five, four, three, two, never mind. <laughs> right? It's like, let it go. Okay, the other aspect is the ascendant and the midheaven are dead on square. We've been talking about this for the last three days. Well, here it is. They are dead squared up today. So there's a little bit, again, of some tension that we've been saying could permeate the career area this week. So it's now kind of there in the space. This is the pinnacle of it. This is hump day, and there we are, and it will taper off from here. Okay, so just watch that. We've been talking about it, so I'm not going to linger. Also, the moon is sesquisquare with Jupiter. Now, that's kind of a weird aspect that I don't mention often. It's not one of the major aspects, but it is there. And since we've kind of been working with Jupiter with its favorable relationship trine to Mars... And we've been talking about the square with Neptune, which is now starting to come into play. Uh, and that one's going to be there for a while, by the way. We'll talk about that maybe a little bit more tomorrow. I won't unpack that today. But yeah, Jupiter and Neptune are going to be squared off. And we'll, yeah, let's, let's save that for tomorrow. Okay, but that's in the works. We still have the favorable, like we talked about yesterday, Neptune and the big three. But this moon sesqu uh, square Jupiter, it will just last for hours, basically. But it is a little bit of a challenge. So maybe if you go, like, like how, that, how could that show up today? You've got something that you've been working on, and you just really thought you were going to get there, and then it just kind of taps the brakes. Ah, you get that delayed email or that phone call, and it just goes on ice for another day or two. Ah, something like that. You know, that's how it might show up. But again, as I say, with all of these, you can always set your intentions. You know where these energies are shining. Sometimes you might just want to step around them if you can. Sometimes they'll come find you and you know, oh, God, yes, I heard that on the podcast. And you know what to do because you've, you've put together a game plan about holding your tongue today, right? 
or uh, you might just set intentions and go, you know what? I have a friend who was diagnosed a little over a year ago with terminal brain cancer. I love what he did. He just said, I rejected the doctor's diagnosis. Still alive. I gave him a hug yesterday. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye-bye.